Hi, I'm Vusi. I'm your health and safety officer and I'm going to be training you today along with my two friends. Utsulani. Oh, hey, man. What's it? Sure, 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 sure. And Nombal. Sambona. Hey, hey buddy. Hello. Nijan. Up Nijan. Good. All right. Okay, we're going to talk about everything you need to know to do your new job. Okay. We'll be discussing things like... What are the health risks we'll be facing on this job? What supplies and protective equipment will we need? How do we set up when we get to the site? How do we get the pit emptied without spreading germs to ourselves or the household? Imag, how do we take a lunch break or even go to the toilets while we're on site? Mm. What do we do if there's an accident hmm? and we get exposed to the sludge or expose the household to the sludge? Yo. How do we set up our tools and protective equipment? How do we report problems or things that we need? Will we get in trouble if we spill the sludge on by mistake? What about health care? Hmm? So, before we begin, I have a question for you that might sound a bit stupid at first, but I don't think it's really so stupid, you okay. know? Okay. We're going to be emptying toilets, right? Hey, yeah. Well, my question is, why do we need toilets in the first place? How? I mean, they're such stinky places, eh? Why can't we just do it the natural way? Ah, hey. oh, Vusi, come on, man. You have to have a place to do that thing. Yeah. You don't expect me to take a shit in front of everyone. Oh. And besides, man, the toilet, ah, that's where I get to talk to my girlfriend. <laughs> you know, there's too many ears in the house just wanting to know my business. And you know us women, hmm? We, we like to multitask and we can. Hmm? <laughs> Mina, I go to the bathroom to get my business done and read the newspaper all one time. Oh. oh, and besides, I need a little bit of peace and quiet from that house where everybody's wanting something for me all the time. That's why I go for some me time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. You are all so right. But you know, there's another reason why we need that little house, which we sometimes forget. Oh. We needed to protect us from diseases and shit. Yeah. Our own and other people's. Oh. Okay. While some of us enjoy our time spent in the toilets for all those other reasons. Mm. The main point is actually this. Keep the stuff contained so that the germs don't spread. But here's the problem. Yeah. The toilet does the job nicely for years. Okay. But it, it's quietly filling up all the time and eventually it has to be empty. Mm. And that's where things can get messy. Mm. Mm. Because if that stuff gets on you ah. or the household, people are going to get sick. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, Vusi, basically what you're trying to say is yeah. shit is going to hit the fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can jam. All right, listen. So, your job is so important when you empty a pit. Okay. It is up to you to get that stuff out without bringing diseases to your family members or to the family members whose toilets you're emptying. Okay. But now, Vusi, tell me, what are these diseases? Because, man, you see, when shit is fresh, yeah. it stinks. Yeah. And I have a weak stomach, so when I see or smell that stuff, I just feel like I'm going to get sick. Mm. But I've seen the pit too, my man. And the shit in there is old and dusty. Yeah. And it doesn't smell so bad anymore. So yeah. I bet the germs have died, no question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the germs are not in the smell, Tulani. And they're too small to see. Some germs can live for a long, long time. Years and years mm. even in the pits. Yo. There are many different kinds of diseases that can be completely alive and well and completely invisible to your eyes in the pits. Sure. You remember from school hearing about bacteria, viruses, protozoans. Yeah. Yeah. Those are all too small for us to see with our eyes. I will see, but I'm sure that it's only, you know, in those certain families where they have these mm -hmm. diseases in the sludge. You know those, who oh, those dirty ones. Hmm? Well, that's partly true, Mbali. If people practice good hygiene, then they protect themselves from many diseases and they won't be in the pits. Okay. Remember, the pits has feces from anyone who's visited the house, not just the family members. And someone can carry a disease without getting sick themselves, but you won't know they have that disease in their feces. <laughs> You are right, just like my son's friends. Oh, I tell you, those boys really freak me out. It's like, it's like they never really wash their hands properly, you know? Mm. So basically, Vusi, what you're trying to say is there's absolutely no way we can know what diseases are in the pit we're emptying. Oh, so then we must assume that there are diseases in every pit. That's right. You're Bacteria and viruses can cause all sorts of symptoms, like oh. diarrhea, 
fever, yeah. cramps, sometimes vomiting, tiredness, mm. weakness, or loss of appetite. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, some people can have those diseases without getting sick themselves, but you can carry them to your family members, and some of them could get sick. Okay. Who do you think are the people at home who are the most vulnerable? Oh, our babies. Oh, and the old ones, yeah. Yeah, and the people that are sick with other sicknesses as well, like, like TB and HIV. That's right. Now, apart from the diseases we've been talking about, there's something else that can be found in the sludge in a pit. Oh. Have you ever heard of intestinal worms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of those. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's those ones, man. The ones that look like, like earthworms, but they are pointed on both ends, and then there are ones that look like maggots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some intestinal worms look similar to earthworms and maggots, but they are completely different. They can only live in the human body. Have you seen this worm before? The fancy name for this is Ascaris lumbricoides and it's also known as round worm. It looks a bit like an earthworm, doesn't it? But it's not. Do you know what this is? It is a section of a three-year-old's intestine that had to be removed because it was full of worms. Now can you imagine when this child ate, who was getting the food? Worm infections in children are serious because they are still growing and the worms take the nutrients that their bodies and brains need to grow well. Mm. Please, please, please stop. Hey, hey, I told you I have a weak stomach. Oh. Hey, 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 to learn. In. Oh, wish. Me now want to learn more about these things. How do I get that, that worm? You have to swallow their eggs which came out of someone else's body in their feces. Their eggs are too small to see. The eggs hatch in your intestine, then they travel to your lungs, getting a bit bigger, but still very small. Then they climb up to your throat, into your mouth. You might feel something tickling and cough. For some people, it seems like they have asthma or pneumonia. They may struggle to breathe or breathe noisily. Because of this, you cough. Then when you swallow, they get back to your intestine and live there. Hmm. Sometimes these worms can get adventurous. They might come out of your mouth or nose or be found in vomit. But most people don't realize they have them. They breed in your intestines and can produce hundreds of thousands of eggs each day. But the eggs don't hatch there. They leave your body in your shits. And if your shit spreads to other people, so do the eggs. These worms can cause some stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, bloody stools, tiredness, and weight loss. Or you might not have any of the symptoms at all. There are lots of different kinds of worms that can live in the body. Here's another one that's very common in our area, though most people don't know they have it. Scientists call it Trichurus trichora, but it's also known as whipworm. This is very, very common in our area, though most people don't know they have it. With severe infections, a person can need to defecate often, and it is painful. Their feces can have mucus, water, and blood. Children with heavy infections can have not normal mental developments, have retarded growth, or they can get clubbed fingers. What about this monster? Can any of you tell me what this is? No way, Fusi. That is not real. That looks like something from a horror movie. Yo, if I see any of these worms in the pits we're emptying, hey, Bob, I'm just going to faint. It's all too real, my friend, and it's also very common. This is tapeworm. Tapeworm can live in cows and pigs and humans. You can get it from human shit or from the shit or meat of these animals. It sometimes forms little balls in the meat with a live baby worm inside. These can move into the brain or other parts of the body of a person who ate them if the meat was not cooked well. This is a slice of a brain full of tapeworm cysts. This worm can get very, very long. Its body breaks off into little sections which come out in the feces. They look a little bit like rice and they are full of tiny eggs. You probably won't see the worms themselves in the pit, but there could be millions of eggs and the germs are too small to see. So... We won't know they're there. there. Ah, Vossi, listen, listen. Mina, I've, I've only heard about these germs and worms, you know, but I've never actually seen them, so they must be rare, eh? 
Yeah. Well, actually, intestinal worms are very, very common. Some research in our area shows that out of every 10 children, nine has worms. Nine. Some can have two or three kinds of worms at the same time. Oh, shit. Huh? You can assume that the sludge you handle is full of worm eggs mm. and that they're alive, mm. even if they've been in a pit for a long time. Yo! Hey, Mumbad, you might have these worms. Hey, Bo, I'm staying away from you. I might have these worms too. Oh, hey, Bo. Hey, man, this whole thing is just so disgusting. I mean, I don't want to get any of these gems while I'm working and then, oh, and then bring them home to my kids. No. Uh -uh. But, 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 Fusi, how is it possible that so many people might have these? If they come from sheets, it's not like we go around touching each other's people's sheets, you know? Let's take a look at an everyday situation and see how it happens. Okay, your little boy Manja is playing ball with his friends. Suddenly, he needs to poo badly, but he's playing and doesn't want to stop. He runs and does his business in record time, grabs some toilet paper and wipes. But it's a little runny and he doesn't notice that a tiny bit gets on his fingers. He doesn't take time to wash his hands because the game is running, so he runs back to his ball game and catches the ball. Now the party spreads to the ball. Now their mother calls them for lunch, and they all eat without washing their hands. And they don't know it, but each of them is having a little bit of Manda's poo with their lunch. And the germs start to do their work, and the worm eggs start to hatch. Now. Uncle Tommy decides to go and spend some time thinking deeply. When he leaves, he puts his hands on the handle that Manja touched, picks up the germs, he's too much of a man to wash his hands, then he meets his friend and smokes a cigarette. Eish, man. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Yo, I'll yeah, I'll make sure everyone from my house washes their hands from now on, yeah. even the visitors. Well, there could be other ways those germs can find their way into your stomach. Yeah? Imag, what about flies? I is it true they spread diseases from shit? What? Huh? Well, yeah, what about flies? Because if you leave the pit uncovered or the door open, they can come and sit on your food. Oh, <laughs> and what about if the baby or the animal outside pulls you right outside there? Yeah. Or someone else? Yeah. Mm. Well, where does that poo go? Uh, I don't know. I think that maybe the dog eats it. But we, we usually move it to the toilet. Oh. Yeah, but there's, there's probably some left on the soil. Mm. And remember, these germs can stay around for years and make people sick. Okay, Vosi, we'll um, tell me, what about those nappies, you know? If you leave the pampers in the yard, animals can tear them open and spread the germs. Mm. And the rain can carry the germs into the water that people drink. Huh. Okay, that's really horrifying. Y yeah, because what if you are washing cloth nappies, hmm? Or you've got bath water from someone that has had diarrhea, or what do you do? Be careful where you throw that water. Do not throw it into your vegetables. Oh. Okay, 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 Vus. You've convinced me this is scary stuff, ne? But ke, what? Does this have to do with our job? Tulan. Yin. I Tulani. Tulani, what do you mean? Hmm? We are going to be dealing with people's shit here. I so know. we have to know these things in order to protect ourselves so that we in turn do not get sick. Hmm? That's right. And that is exactly what we are here to talk about. But before we do that, it's time for your questions. <laughs> <laughs> 